you shop at the Sioux Shop and SiouxShop.com, your dollars are invested into UND Athletics, helping to develop athletes through scholarships and support programs. Dress in comfort and style with custom UND football, hockey, and basketball apparel. Shop inside the Sioux Shop or the all-new SiouxShop.com and follow us on social media for product updates and special offers. Fall camp's a fun time of year because there's no school. Um, it's all football all the time. You can meet, be around the guys. And I really think you develop the, the chemistry of your football team during that first August. Pads around the day. Let's go, man. Real football. Are you like 240 now or what? 40? Yeah, <laughs> Gotta get some definition here. All right, little bro. <laughs> when you're with each other 24-7. Um, throughout that throughout that fall camp time so in those times where you should be taking a nap you might be playing video games you're hanging out and you're doing all that kind of fun stuff and, and uh, just being with each other I think is the thing you remember most about fall camp look at the quarterback don't look out here melt no don't chase the crosser you're just trying to do everything right and learn from the veterans and kind of go through that and just really take advantage like of all the reps you're getting, but also mentally trying to get reps by watching and watching the older guys. With new quarterbacks and new centers, like early in camp, you gotta get extra work at this stuff. We can't have balls on the ground during team. Coach will get pissed. You know, as a coach, it's a little bit different. You're trying to get everyone to beat everybody out. You want everyone to be competitive. Uh, more as a player, you're, you're kind of worried about yourself a little bit. Like, what can I do? How can I get on the uh, depth chart? Who can I move up? Can I get on special teams this year? Can I get in the rotation? What do I gotta do for that? And you're really worried, uh, worried about yourself, trying to hold yourself accountable. No, you should say it, but you don't need to say, we're good, we're good. It can be, hey, we're good, we're good. All right, Eddie, you know what I mean? Kayla, you gotta have more pause. Here we go. Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. I know, I'm, I'm ready to step in. I feel like I'm, it's my time, and uh, we're gonna try to do some great things here. I'm excited. I was in a red jersey, and I was playing quarterback. Like, you're kind of looked at a little different. You just go out and throw balls. Like, you don't get hit. Like, I remember these running backs and linebackers in inside drill, they're just banging on each other two times a day. And yeah, it's kind of crazy, you know, he's, he's been through it, you know, he, he knows this place, he's been here for a long time, so it's always cool to, you know, have a guy that's been in the program for a long time and played here. We've watched a couple clips from back in his day, but not too much. Daniel is such a good, good, really good quarterback. Uh, it was hard to play chess against him uh, when we were players, so. Um, I'll reserve all that. He was, he'd be, he would make me miss if he needed to in the open field. Oh yeah, he caught that, guys! Yeah! Yeah! He, he always brings the juice, always brings the energy, which is, it's contagious for everybody. You know, he, he's always, you know, hyping people up, you know, bringing the energy constantly all practice. So, I mean, it, it rubs off on us and helps us as a team. It's a great read on MDM. We'll put that on the MDM tape. Most dangerous man, all right? They kind of see that there's a time to really work and there's a time to kind of joke around, but you get to be able to flip that switch and be really competitive when you need to be. Um, but it's a fun game. Like if the guys are working hard and they're being great teammates to each other and they're giving their best, then we're going to have some fun. I think you're going to have a lot of success. Everybody out here saying be an athlete. This is awesome. Here you go, ball, 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 ball. Ah! Here you go. He reaches us at hunt. Boom. We're going right to the pads and we're trying to dent that line of scrimmage backwards. You know, the linebackers, they're always a little bit, you know, they're, they're kind of the centerpiece of the defense and, and they're the tough guys. And you're, you're always a little bit scared of those guys. You know, like Brett was in my class, so we were a little bit more, you know, claiming as freshmen. But I remember guys like Digger Anderson, you know, guys that were older that you're just trying to, you know, stay out of their way a little bit. He was such a smart player when he was here and, and very asked a lot of great questions and always looking for different ways to do stuff to become the best you can be. Um, and I really enjoy his approach with our players. Like, those guys are, are bought in. Set, hit. Good, aiming point, bicep sternum, bicep sternum. It means something special to him to, to be able to coach here and coach the position that he played. And I think it brings another element to it that he's teaching you stuff that he was taught, you know, 15 years ago. Good, bring your second foot. Make sure it's not too big of a step. Just right here, right here, right here. You good with that? 
Um, the game is different. It's not just run, we're not just running ISO and power and, and taking a one minute break in the huddle and running again. So um, you, needed to, you needed to condition at those times. Now you get it during practice, uh, just with the, the wide open offenses that we're going to see and, and what we see in, in our offense every day. He kind of stays away from the good old days. I, I think uh, if he did, he'd come off as one of those guys that, like back in my day, I was walking uphill both ways to practice, ten feet of snow, you know. One of those things. Uh, two a days. Back when I had two a days, those were my favorite, least favorite part. Practicing in the afternoon after you just practice in the morning, um, and then conditioning. Um, and then once we got done with conditioning, we went overtime conditioning. So you're begging for the ice baths after practice. I mean, you're tired after practice. Somehow you find a way to run to the ice bath first to get in there. I remember that. That was always a good time. You're a hard curl. He's looking at you. Don't chase the low one. He's gonna throw it behind you. There you go. Welcome to college football. The competitiveness is still there for us. Um, I, you know, he's ultra competitive, I'm ultra competitive, so. Nice play, D, good ball. We're, we'll live with that all day, that's okay. At the end of practice is the end of practice and you're, you're coming back together and, and you know you're, you're both working for a common goal. Um, so that competitiveness, you, you drive each other um, to be better on both sides of the football. I think that's, a, that's the main thing we get from each other is, is just constantly pushing each other. You get into fall camp and it's offense versus defense for two, three weeks and by the end of it, you're kind of like, all right, let's start preparing for an opponent. But I think you have to go through that process of banging head against, heads against your own guys because you develop a certain level of respect and appreciation for how how good they are on the other side of the ball and what they do and, and why they do it. So it's it's really a fun fun deal and, and good getting paid.